Okay, uh, welcome to tutorial number three. Uh, last time we downloaded WordPress files, we created a new MySQL database, we changed um, and edited the WP config sample file, edited the content, and then we saved it and renamed it as just WP config. That's essential to this. And then we selected all of these files and transferred them into what we, uh, what I called where I wanted my blog to be is in the blog folder. Now, uh, that means it will be wolfram.com forward slash blog will be the location of my blog. You can call this whatever you want, make sure it's lowercase, make sure there's no spaces, otherwise it won't work. Um, and it's, again, it's essential, it's all lowercase. But anyway, you can see that all of the contents have been uploaded successfully, and now we're ready to, to go on and fix it up from there. So we go to Wolfram, your domain name, .com, forward slash whatever you've named your directory or your folder. In my case, I labeled it blog. And then we have the wonderful page that means everything has been configured correctly. You can label your blog title. Now you can label it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to put in a new media class example. Your email, put in your email. Um, whatever your email address is. This is important. Allow my blog to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati. This basically means that your web pages or your blog pages will be accessible by Google and Google will go in and put them on the search engines. Then it'll give you your username. Your username will always be admin and it'll give you an absolute nutter of a password. Uh, simply uh, select it, copy it, click login put in your password again, admin, put in that crazy, or paste in that crazy password, don't click remember me because we're going to change it as soon as we log in. So, not now. Okay, and then it says here, I notice you're using the auto-generate password for your account, would you like to change it to something <laughs> remember easier? You say yes, of course, um, you put in a new password down here, and we'll just call the password whatever. Okay, update profile, and now your new password has been updated. You just use that new password from here on. We can go visit the site, and this is your blog. It's all ready to go. And uh, congratulations if you've got that far. You've just created your first blog, or maybe it's your 700th blog, and this has been a waste of time for you. But anyway, for most of you guys, this should be the first blog, and that is how to create it. And there we go. That's the end of this tutorial round.